Ooh, ah, yeah, disco. What is up, you beautiful people? Welcome back to the Silent Age. Right, we're back in Chapter 8, Outside Arkin. Having learned the viral outbreak from Dr. Lambert, Joe must make his way back to Arkin on the night before the event to destroy the computer that controls the time machine. But first, he must find a way in. As so always, start over, because we're even though we're in the beginning, we just want to make sure, just in case, the night before. Let's see if we can get through. I like a parking meter. Frank always told me these things steal and cheat like his uncle twice removed. Makes me glad I don't drive a car to work. What do you, take public transport? Look at you, being a, being a good man, not a... Ooh, the neon zone. Frank's old nemesis, Mr. Gobbles Dimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, not wrong. I don't have my access card. Besides, you need a code to enter after hours, and I don't have a combination. Well, get better then. Get a combination. Ooh. Yuck. Charred pile. It's a big pile of burned, uh... Files and printouts, several da drawers worth of blah blah blah. Some of the pages still partially readable. Can you? October twenty first, nineteen seventy one. We lost Friedman today. The only thing more alarming than the pathogens unpredictable in something period is the horrific physical toll it takes on the human body. It is truly gruesome thing to behold. Just under forty nine hours after infection, while in quarantine, Friedman snapped his own spine from the convulsions. As per company protocol, his family will be notified that he died in an accidental fire. What the fuck? A mock urn will be shipped to the funeral director to hand over to the family so his body will be kept here for further study. What the shit? Um Hey quarter. Nice from nineteen seventy two. What a steel shit. Here goes. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, right. No power. I mean, fucking worth it. Ooh, what about the van? Is there anything new in the van? Not much left of it. Hole in the ground. There's a big hole in the tarmac. Huh. Are there tracks down there? No way I'm jumping. My legs would snap like twigs. Also, arc on. Sorry, I just thought that was interesting. Arch on. Let's go to the Neon Zone nightclub. Dude, Party Rock is in the house tonight. Whoa, look at this beastie boy. Ooh, look, a quarter. Neat, another quarter. <laughs> Me when I find money. With all the rugs, syringes, and burning branches I put good to good use lately, I'm starting to trust my senses of what stuff might come in handy, and that bad boy is definitely coming with me. I've had weirder things to help me through scraps. I mean, you're right. Please... Do not press the button. I'm gonna press the button. Hey. <laughs> you touching that. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I promise. Just looking. Right on time. Welcome to, to the hippest joint in town. town. Dude, this, this guy is, is the definition of chill. Now, what can I do? Literally four steps below the time, Mac. I just saw the sun. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Dude. Hell yeah, it's jumping. Dude, my man. Studio 54. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give it time, my man. Oh, yeah. Believe that. Dude, Cedric... Use a beer, I guess. A beer? A beer? I got degrees in mixonomy and mixonomy. for the gods. For the gods. Just Dude. A beer, please. Zeus having killer mojitos. Damn it. Jeez. Sure about this High class. Time. So now I have to find two more quarters. I don't jack the prices, kid. This year establishment is just geared towards a more 
Discerning clientele. Oh, fuck you. Give me my... It's empty. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, insult him. You're gonna pay for that beer? What? I will. I think I left my wallet in my jacket. I'll be right back. That's what they all say. Yeah, you're not going anywhere else. Whoa. What the fuck? Where's a corpse? Ick, it's a person. <laughs> Me too. No thanks, I can see part of the skull. I really don't need to see the rest. Ah, oh, man. What is this, a cable? Pull the cable. Yank it. It's a thick, heavy-duty cable that could come in handy. Hell yeah, it could. See, that's alarming. Just gonna say that. So I need to get that somehow. If I check the other parking meter, will I get another quarter? Frank always tells me those things. She da da da. No, nope, okay. Oh wait, shit. <laughs> Boom. Use cable with hole in the ground. The cable seems long enough, but I need something to tie it to. The van. Um, that. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this not time business. Hey, aw, oh, heck, I jinxed it. Now the cable's gonna snap with me on it, and I'll die down there with two broken stumps for legs. You'll make it. I believe in you, Joe. Hell yeah. Oh. This is weird. Dude, payphone. Maroon 5? Looks like it's been out of service for decades. Well, check it again. Is there a quarter in there? Nothing in the quarter turn. How about now? Just a quarter short of a dollar. Hell yeah. Ooh, what's this cable? The cable's probably used for welding. It's going on inside the real car. Well, can I go inside the real car? Hell yeah. Dude, talk to this welder. He looks like me. He seems busy. Dude, he looks like me with a cooler mask. Dude, ranch. Sir, would you kindly step away from there? It's not safe. Hey, fuck you. Give me the ranch. Sir, please, get away from there. I mean it. But I want the goddamn ranch. Sir, would you kindly Oh, he's just going to say the same thing again. Okay, well... Oh, dark area. It's too dark there. Can't see anything. There's a corpse. I can I can see the corpse. Light beam. Wow, that's pretty bright. I can you use some way to spread the light? I might be able to see the rest of the room. That's what I need. The uh, freaking um, what's it called? The uh, the disco ball for. Okay, let's see. Hey, look, subway musicians. By the looks of it, he's a vet. I think he's blind too. St take his money. Stay from a blind vet. I may have done a lot of objectable things lately, but a good humanity and all. But I still have standards. You bitch. And we'll take from a dead guy. I a hard-earned quarter. The whole dollar's worth. Man, I'll never get used to seeing this. Does anyone? Oh wait. Vent. The grating is actually a little bit loose now that the bolts are rusted. Ugh, no, still not rusty enough to pry off the wall with my bare hands. Dude, you just a punk bitch. And I say that with pride. Hey, no one's talking to you, cat. Well, time to go buy that beer. Dude, get to the neon zone. I've come. I got a dollar. Use one dollar with bartender. Changed my mind. For the money, give me the fanciest drink you've got. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, I'll buy. Prepare to be dazzled. One rainbow one frosted rainbow hot lava slushy frosted deluxe with a twist coming right up. What the fuck does that even mean? You just spoke words that assaulted my ears in ways I didn't even want. <laughs> oh, button. It's coming down quick. Take it. Yoink. If I get busted for this, I want to go straight to jail without trial. I'd much rather prefer not having an explanation for my reasoning. Talk to the bartender. Whoa, hold your horses, it is complete. <laughs> now, 
It wasn't ready. Then it was ready. Ooh. What should we do? Should we let it sit? Or should we drink it? Let's fucking drink this bitch. Blow out our taste buds. just revealed all of its secrets inside my mouth did he did he lace my drink is that what happened am i gonna am i gonna die am i gonna am i drugged Sweet mercy. it's like riding sidecar with a unicorn down a mountain of cashmere sweaters what the fuck did he put in that drink i swear this guy's drugged me what the hell Oh yeah, just give it a tie. Beep boop beep. Um, I need to get inside the car now. Dude, now that we have the sick disco ball, let's use it on this light beam. Whoa. Hey, look, a screwdriver and the welder's corpse. Hey, the screwdriver. I bet this will come in handy. Ha ha ha! Handy. Uh, screwdriver. Hi, buddy. Power supply? It's a willing power supply. Can I turn it off? Turn it off and distract him, but he'd see me before I get the chance to slip out. What? Then what am I supposed to do? Unplug the cable? No? What? What am I? What? Hi, blind vet. Vent. And use it here. No dice. It's fastened to the wall with bolts. If it's graining, it's a little looser. I might be able to pry it off the screwdriver. Okay. Then I just use this on that. Yes, it worked. Man. These trains have seen better days. Go through the vent. Ew. Is that a wheel? Or the valve? I opened a valve. I can hear water rushing through the pipe. Ew, what the fuck? Wait. What happens if I do the pipeline? Injuries. It's been rusty blades or whatever has been oozing into the water, even if there's a way to get through below the water line. I'm not risking it. What? It won't budge. I can't squeeze through. I might be able to duck under, but the water smells like petroleum and raw sewage. It makes my legs feel all prickly. So you won't even... What? I'm still confused. You won't turn any further. What did I do? Did I... Change the water level upstairs? I am thoroughly confused. Oh, I have to. Sometimes the uh, the switching is a little obnoxious. Oh, it's a gun. What the fuck? He's holding a revolver. It's rusty, but the bear rotates. It's got all six. No, wait, five bullets left. One casing is empty. Oh God. Since basic training. Hey, he was in the army. Oh, no. That's horrifying. Wait, can I rob him with this? Rob him. So we're just shooting people now? Is that it? Where, all, where is all this coming from? I'm sure he's price threatened common decency, but other than that, poses absolutely no danger. Well, maybe I just want to shoot him. Can I shoot the door? Can I shoot the keypad? Let's try shooting the keypad. If that'll do, I'll be beaten to a pulp before firing another warning shot. What about the door? What am I, John Dillinger? Yes. Yes, you are. I just realized, do we know Joe's last name? Do I shoot this? 
He's preoccupied, not deaf. What am I supposed to do? Door. It's locked. Wrench. Sir, would you kindly step away from there? I will shoot you. Do it, shoot him. What's the matter with you, Joe? Because I'm a psychopath? I don't fucking know. Shoot the vet. <laughs> Give him PTSD. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person. Oh. oh, I didn't even click it. There we go. I need to get rid of this gun it's soon. It's seriously starting to screw with my head. I think I'll take full blame for that. <laughs> Can I shoot? Yeah! Hell yeah! I got the achievement from Marksman. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh! <gasps> Split. How convenient. Was a bit too rusty after all. Did I shoot him? Was I the person who shot him? What the fuck? Except this wire cutter. Maintenance door. It's locked. Grating. Oh, sweet. What's what's through here? Um Hatch. Nuts. Nuts. Ah nuts. Whoa, what the fuck? I could sort of make out the outline of the elevator hatch underneath the moss, but I really don't want to fiddle with it. This elevator is literally hanging by a thread. I don't blame you. Okay. Um Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go back through? What do I use the wire cutter on? Oh, I, I'll use the wire cutter on the thing. Did Are we the ones that shot him? Did we technically cause this whole thing? Like, weirdly, in a weird, like, time loop style thing? Oh, yeah, cut the cable. Another bad deed done in the name of humanity. I hope it's worth it. Oh, Joe, it won't be. <laughs> Hi, Walter. Considering what I just did, I don't really draw attention to myself right now. Oh, he's beating it. I hope he doesn't mind me borrowing his wrench. Oh, man. This is weirdly fucking with my head. Like... Are we really the ones who shot him? That's so cool. It won't let me, like, maintenance door. No. Oh no, there's blood on the handle. Blood on the handle? Hello? Yeah, because you shot him, Joe. Can you use the wrench with a hatch? I mean, it's the only other option. Okay, here we go. Chapter 9, Inside Arkham. Wow, that was... crazy. Does it, it looks like we're the ones who shot Dr. Lambert. That's insane. And we have two more left after this. We have uh, this chapter and then chapter ten. Man, I can't, I can't wait to play those two. I hope you guys are really enjoying the series. This is a really fun game to play. It's really like mind-boggling. Like, I mean, not that mind-boggling, but it's definitely on the inter more interesting side of point-and-click adventure games. Some of them are just like little short, simple things, but this one's like really throwing me for a loop man but yeah anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's definitely 
a fun game to play. And if you want to check out the playlist, there's up in the iCard and down in the description below. And like this video if you enjoyed this content. And subscribe for more videos posted weekly. Twice a week? Three times a week? It all depends. So please, I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoyed? <laughs> Past tense. I'm a little tired. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.